Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to share with you a little hidden trick on using targeted adjustments in Lightroom. Now, if you're not familiar with targeted adjustments, with targeted adjustments, you could target specific tones in your image or specific colors in your image. For example, if you want to spe uh, target specific tones, you would go to the tone curve and then it works in the parametric curve or the point curve. You would just click on the little targeted adjustment tool. It's that little circle there. Your cursor turns into the targeted adjustment tool. Then you could target a tone. Let's say I want to make the darker tones a little darker. I would click on it. The mouse would disappear. Just drag down with my mouse and you could see I'm taking those tones darker. If I want to make some brighter, I could go up here and click on, let's say, the cloud and push up and make those brighter. So I'm targeting specific tones in the image. Now, if I want to target colors next, I would go to the HSL panel. I would again turn on the targeted adjustment tool. And let's say I want to target the luminance value of this tree. So I have them on the luminance tab. I have the targeted adjustment tool open. I would click, drag down, up. I could adjust the luminance of that tree. Now, that's one way to do it, but there is actually a better way. Let's say you're going to start out with the tone curve and you want to again make some targets, uh, some tones darker. You would grab the targeted adjustment tool. You could go to those tones and make them darker. You could go to others and make them lighter. Now, if you want to jump over to the HSL panel and target some luminance values of colors, instead of going over there, clicking on the panel, then reactivating the targeted adjustment tool, what you can do is go down here in the toolbar. The toolbar is this little strip right above the film strip. If you don't see it, hit the T key on your keyboard and it will uh, make that toolbar come and go. Now you can see on the far left, you have target group tone curve. And then you can see you could jump right to luminance there and then target, let's say, the luminance values. But there's an even better way. And this is the part that's kind of hidden. There's actually keyboard shortcuts for all of this. If you want to jump, say, now we're on luminance now. Let's say I want to go to hue. The keyboard shortcut to jump to the hue targeted adjustment on a PC is Shift, Alt, Control, H, is in hue. So Shift, Alt, Control, H. On a Mac, that's Shift, Option, Command, H. And you can see we jump to Hue. If you want to go to Luminance, Shift, Alt, Control, L, or Shift, Option, Control, L. If you want to go to Saturation, Shift, Alt, Control, S, or Shift, Option, Command, S. If you want to go back to the Tone Curve, Shift, Alt, Control, T or shift option command T and you could jump between all of those. So really all you need to remember is shift alt control or shift option command and then just use the first letter of U, saturation, luminance or tone curve and you could jump between all those and you won't have to worry about uh, reactivating the tone or the targeted adjustment tool when you jump between the two panels and it will keep them both open so you could see what you're doing. So in this case, if I want to now target the luminance values of the colors in this image on my Mac, I would hold in shift option command L and then I would just go and target those colors. Like I could go to blue, make it darker, Ooh, not that dark. And if I want to adjust saturation as well, I could go to then shift option command S. I'll jump to saturation and I could make the blue maybe not as saturated. And so on. So I could very easily jump between all these targeted adjustments uh, without going over to the right hand panel and reactivating that targeted adjustment tool every time I jump between the tone curve and the HSL panel. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.